Petro Hey, welcome back to that roof. Okay. So you can see we got all the tile tore off and now we put one layer of the TU35 modified fiberglass base paper down and then one layer of the torch so we can start stacking the tile from over here onto this path. Now we're doing this so we don't have to move the tile everywhere. That's a pain in the butt and this tile is heavy. Weighs roughly about 10 pounds per piece. So that's a lot of weight. So we want to take all this material right here, get it stacked over here so we can get the rest of the base paper torn off before the sun comes out. Because when the sun comes out, the is going to stick. The paper is going to stick to the deck and we're not going to get it off until tomorrow morning. So we're moving pretty fast, efficiently, getting it done. And we're pretty excited about this because this is the last portion of the tile roof that we have to tear off and the last portion of the base paper which is a great thing. So now we can start focusing on the dry rod at the bottom of the roof because we have a fascia board and one layer of the two by six tongue and groove board that's rotted that we're gonna have to correct or fix or replace. So we'll get to that in a bit and we'll show you. But for right now, we just wanna take this tile and stack it right here. So let's see how we do it. It's a lot of work and it's really hard, but that's what you have to do with a tile reset. You don't have the luxury of starting over from scratch and throwing away all the tile. Now this is good tile and we're keeping this. We're gonna reset it and put it back and it's gonna look awesome. It's gonna look great when we're done. I'm out of breath. God, that was hard, hard work. Hard work doing this tile reset. Okay. So now as you can see, we got the rest of the base paper right here. Now we just want to start getting that all swept up to try to minimize the dust on the inside. Now we have plastic spread on the inside so we shouldn't get a lot of dust on the inside but you never can tell and you always want to take as much precaution as possible to protect yourself and the homeowner. You don't want anyone upset at the end of the job or during the job. So it takes a little bit more time to spread plastic on the inside of the house where the open beam ceiling is you better do it. Make your customer happy. Make yourself happy in the long run when everything runs smoothly and efficiently to get the job done. Okay, so as you can see over there, we're starting to get the edge metal off the edge. Make it easy to get the cap sheet off. Make it easy to get that tore off. We're just getting ready to get this swept up. So we're gonna jump back when we get this all done. We'll see you in a bit.